I just went running. And if you know anything about running, you know, if you're going to do it, you got to tell everybody about it. Hi everybody, I'm Kate Welsh, for This is No Teleprompter, No Mercy, the weekly web series where we hate diet and exercise in equal measure. The struggle is real. I want to be the person who fully embraces all of the fruits and vegetables that I bring home with me from the grocery store when in reality I just want to watch reality TV and roll up a pizza like a burrito and just eat that. Speaking of that, uh, you may have seen this earlier in the week. I tweeted a picture of the sign they had for lemons in the grocery store because it had one of my favorite words. Zesty, 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 zesty. I love the word zesty, and I don't know why. I think it's just because it sounds like what it is. It's kind of like zesty, 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 zesty. I started thinking of other words that I like besides zesty that I thought that I would also share. So there's like, I like zesty, fuzzy, fizzy, bleak, noodle, cremini, preposterous, swarm, crunchy, puffy, loopy, yurt, astute, pernicious, dangle, ludicrous, formidable, pulchritudinous. That's such a good one. Wombat, pulp, the list goes on. When you get in this conversation, it sort of naturally leads to something else. So you may be wondering what my favorite swear word is. And I can't tell you. I imagine it's kind of the same thing if someone were to ask about a favorite child. You obviously have one, you just can't tell anybody. Not to be controversial or villainous. Do you have a favorite word that is not creepy, offensive, suggestive, inappropriate, imprudent, appalling, hideous, horrible, base, or crass? Leave it in the comments. Hit thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, I'm making new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's gonna do it for this week, everybody. Have a great Wednesday. Zesty!